Bixler 2 and I'll just uh, show a video on why unfortunately it's not a very good FPV platform. Um, first of all, I moved the servos to the rear and uh, put them onto short push rods which helped a lot uh, because those long ones tend to flex. Um, the motor I've got the easy, uh, the smart uh, CNC mount. Um, it's a lot makes it a lot better. I would not fly without one of these. But you notice how much up thrust I've got there. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got two washers inside there to give it up thrust, and that's how much I needed to run this motor. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, I've got the flaps running. Um, now, the problem with it is, is that I don't know if you can see the front compartment, but it is actually quite small. For some reason they've made the nose longer, but this hatch is actually smaller if the other one doesn't fit. And inside here there's two um, reinforcing pieces which prevents you from laying the battery on the floor in the Bixler one you can actually put some gear on top of it. So if I want to put my APM in there, there's just no room. Um, so that's, in fact, there's actually seems to be less room than the Bixler one. The other reason is because of this, the, how the wings are put on, on the Bixler two. And this, I couldn't get them in for love or money, but, there's two big tubes going through this centre section now, which used to be able to take a little bit of gear. And now you can't, because there's these wing tubes in there. So, all in all, unfortunately, the, the Bixler 2 just gets a big minus. It's a good plane, it flies perfectly. Nothing wrong with it flying, except it took a little bit to trim. But for FPV, and what I want to do with it, and put an APM in it, um, it's just not good and um, that's why I've gone to the um, FP, uh, the uh, ready-made RC Finwing Penguin so I'm hoping that will be a lot better but if you are thinking of doing a Bixler 2 it is a good plane there's absolutely nothing wrong with it as far as planes go it flies very well it's stable um, Definitely get the small parts CNC mount. Sorry, it was not smart. Small parts CNC mount. Um, it's a godsend. It makes mounting the motor easy. You can raise them up. You can raise it down. I would suggest putting the servos in the back. It makes a much shorter, more direct hookup for much less play. Um, you just have to run the wires down. I don't know if you can see them too, but I have on my receiver these other things, because it's got flaps, it's a lot more complicated to hook them up. So what I've done is that I've put multiplex connectors so that this is coming from the one left wing, so I just have to unplug it, and that's I can take my left wing off and I don't have to worry about flaps, uh, ailerons, whatever. I can just plug them in, and that's my flaps and ailerons plugged in to the receiver. It's actually really good. These multiplex plugs are very cheap and they're worth their weight in gold. When you have flaps and ailerons, um, trying to plug them in is a nightmare if you ever want to take them off. But with this, it's just a simple pull apart like that. And then you can pull the wing off, complete with flaps and ailerons, and then plug it in. I just use a wiring standard on here. Um, I connected up all six wires. Some people connect them in parallel. You can connect up the ground and power in parallel, but I didn't bother. I, I've got, I only needed six, and I've got six wires, so there wasn't any point. Um, okay, to wrap it up, I would say that the Bixler 2 is a very good plane for flying. It works well. You could probably do it as FPV, just with one camera in here and nothing else, but um, I want to use an eight, what's called an APM an autopilot, so I will actually need a lot more room in here, and this just doesn't have it. The canopy seems to be actually smaller than the Bixler 1. It, the Bixler 1 is actually probably better for APM, but the flaps, good, they work, they slow the plane down really well, 
um, when they're deployed. And uh, Energy 9X, it's got an, a um, FreeSky module on it, and it's got ER9X software. So I just connect it up. Okay, now with this, I've got it programmed. The ER9X is very easy to program. Um, I've got it programmed, obviously, elevators. But I've got that makes it into flapperons, so the whole surface moves, and that deploys the flaps. And the flap amount is controlled by this knob. Sorry, the flap down. Flap down is controlled by this knob, so it can go up, goes full down. So you can have your flaps set just a little bit for takeoff. And if you push the gear switch, the ailerons go down as well. Okay, so it controls the ailerons. So you've got full span flapperons. Okay, so and that. And that. Now the other thing I've programmed in is, um, is a bit of rudder movement with the ailerons. And the ailerons have full differential. And this is motor cut as normal, so don't get any motor. I do get motor. Um, all in all, the um, flaps do work. They bring it, bring it down quite well. So, and I've got the fail safe finally set. So if I'm flying away and I lose power, okay, full rudder, full elevator, and full flaps. So it should come down reasonably well. So that's the fail safe. The fail safe on the um, on it works superbly. And it's got telemetry, so it's telling me that I've got plenty of RSSI on the telemetry. So the telemetry all works as well. And I don't know if you noticed, but um, I made up a new cable. The cable that comes with the free sky is bloody is terrible this horrible great thing so I just made, got another couple of five pin connectors and just crimped it up and made a little nice little neat cable it looks so much better than the original the original was also miles long 